What is the worst Magic the Gathering Modern deck you could make? Well, I, Magic the Noah, have answered that question. All right, so if you look at the rules of Magic the Gathering, if a player's life goes to zero or less, they lose. All right, so life goes to zero, you lose, all right? So let's say your life is 20, you're alive. Life is 10, you're alive. Life is five, you're alive. Life is one, you're alive. All right, but let's take your life at 20 and take your life at one. You're still alive. It's the same thing. Death is a Boolean function. You're either alive or you're not alive. It doesn't matter your life total because you're just alive. All right? So in Magic Gathering, life is also a resource. So let's say you have some life. You can pay some of that life, and then you can get cool prizes. For example, you can surveil. You can add mana. Uh, or you could, like, make your opponent discard cards. Like, you can just use that as a resource, and you're still alive, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let's say, like, mana conflux. You tap it. You take your soul. You chip off a piece of it. Give it to a demon. And it's totally worth it, all right? So, yeah, you are giving your soul to a demon in exchange for cool stuff. But that's the least of your worries, because this deck is $350, and it's probably a little bit more since I edited it. So I am morally obligated to tell you that this deck is absolute trash. Probably. I have not played it, so it, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's bad, though. All right, but what does the deck look like? Red and black. Rakdos. It's all about speed and being quick. All right, part one, creatures. This card is what inspired the entire deck list. Death Shadow. It's beautiful. All right, Death Shadow. It's one black, and it's a 13-13. That is absolutely an insane stat line. And then it gets minus X, minus X, where X is your life total. So it's like black, and you could get a 12-12 for one black mana. That is absolutely insane. People play Goblin Guide, which is one red mana for a 2-2. And even worse than that, it has this added-on effect that is just gross, and it makes the card worse. But with Death Shadow, there's no downsides, and it only gets stronger the longer it's on the board. And so we're going to put four of those in the deck. All right, so Death Shadow is great, but we can only have four of them, so we got to put in Shadow of Mortality. Uh, where Death Shadow is, you know, one black mana for a 12-12, Shadow of Mortality is two for a 7-7, seven, seven, which is not as good, but you know what? It's, it's all right. So we can't have eighth Death Shadow. No, that's not illegal, so we have to put in four Shadow of Mortality. It's just, we just have to do it. All right, Street Wraith. We don't care about that word. We don't care about that word. We don't care about that word. We care about that. We can cycle this card and pay two life for zero mana and give our Death Shadow plus two plus two completely for free. And also, you know, it's free, so you could potentially cycle into another Death Shadow and then, you know, it, it just thins out your deck to get closer to Death Shadow, all right? So Street Life, we got to have four in those. It's free. No reason not to put more of them in the deck. All right. Vexing Devil or Unlucky Witness. You can put three of these, one of these, one of these, three of these, it, two of these, two of these, zero and four. It doesn't matter. Just make sure there's some combination of four of these in the deck. I felt like the deck needed more creatures, and I just, I just couldn't figure anything else out. All right. Part three, Instance. So you got the card Lightning Bolt. We got to put four of those in there. I should just stop it there, but I'll explain. All right. Lightning Bolt, a staple. One red mana deal three damage to anything. It's an instant, and that it's just in the top 10 of every list for every red card. It's so good. And it only takes one red mana. All right, next slide. All right, Pulse of the Forge. It deals four damage to target player, and then if that player has more life than you, you return it to your hand. Guys, this deck sucks, so our opponent will always have more life than us. So we will always go back into our hand, and we can play Pulse of Forge infinitely, never ending, all right? So we got to put two of those in the deck, because, you know, once you play it, you're just going to have it back in your hand, so you don't need to have it just filling up your hand. Part two, Sorceries. All right, Ancestral Anger. It gives Trample, and it draws a card, so it replenishes itself. Let's say our opponent's at nine life, and uh-oh, they have a bunch of chump blockers, and we have our 12-12 Death Shadow on the field. We can just cast a quick Ancestral Anger on there, give it Trample, and then it swings, and then it just knocks all that stuff away, and we win the game with this card. It just, it's amazing. So we got to put four of those in there, and it also gets stronger the more of them you play. All right, Crash Through or Expedite. You choose one of these, just one of them. Put one Expedite or put one Crash Through, I don't care. All right, Thought Seize. You can make your opponent discard some card, or and then you lose two life, and it makes Death Shadow stronger. Look at Holy Strength. That's one mana for plus one, plus two. This is one mana. Make them discard a card and plus two, plus two. That's worth. All right, so we got to put two of those in the deck. Thud. It's perfect. All right, so Thud, 
you can use it on Death Shadow, which is a 12-12. And then, you know, people play Lightning Bolt. What's well, run red mana for three damage? But when you play Thud, one red mana for 12 damage. That makes Lightning Bolt obsolete, and this card just, it just shows how much better it is. So Thud, we gotta put four of those in the deck. Absolutely just does everything we want it to. All right, light up the stage. That's one red mana, and it just shows how much greater it is than blue, all right? So you can pay two and a blue, and you get Divination, which is draw two cards. Or you can play one red, cast light up the stage for its spectacle cost, and you get two cards for two less mana. It's just so much better. We got to have four of those in the deck. It's just absolutely perfect. All right, Burning Inquiry. Let's say you got a hand of cards, and you're like, I, I don't really know about this cards. So then it says each player draws three cards. So you draw three cards. Then you discard three cards at random. All right, so you go pew, pew, pew. And then look at that. Now you have a better card, and you're able to draw more Death Shadows. And if you already have the Death Shadows, then you don't even have to play it because you just play the Death Shadow. And look at that. It says each player. So you can mess with people who have stupid decks uh, and make them discard their cards and ruin their plans. All right, Burning Inquiry. That We put two of those in the deck. Pretty good, but don't want to overdo it. Agadim's Awakening. That's four mana. And we could get two Death Shadows from the graveyard. Two 12-12s for four is actually pretty good, all right? It's only four mana. And it also has a backside in case you can't have that. So it's a land that you pay life for. It's perfect for the deck. Literally perfect. All right, we put two of these in the deck. All right, Shatter Skull Smashing. That's four mana, four damage to the face. It's an okay finisher, but like the last one. Uh, you can also cut it and put Obosh the Prey Piercer as a companion if you want to. Uh, but that's completely optional, and he's much too expensive for the deck. But the option is there. Also, this one has a backside where it can, it's a land, and you pay life for it, which is exactly what you want from the deck. All right, two times of these. Beautiful card. All right, part five, lands. So for a Springs, that's $3. We put four of them in the deck. It's only $12. It's fine. It's barely anything. Mana Conflux, it may be $18, but there's only one of them. So, you know, Blood Crypt, okay, th this one's $15, and there's four of them, so it's $60. So, you know, just... It's, it's all right. Bloodstained Mire. That, this card is $30, but, you know, it, we put four of them in the deck, and it's $120. I, I, yo, wizards, please reprint. All right, anyways, subscribe, or you'll have to play against this trash.